guys here's my smoker build video uh, that one there um, please bear in mind I have never used a welder um, so be kind I uh, hope you enjoy so I figured I might as well start with the smallest piece uh, with the vent um, I'm gonna do this at 3 mil mild steel let's see what we've got I'm going to put a split washer on a washer, a split washer, then another washer just to keep uh, the bit of tension on it between the two plates but without knocking it solid that's pretty okay fully open, fully closed works pretty damn good and for my first time in welding uh, not too bad but it's let's just say it's good I've got a grinder not too shabby okay here's where we're up to trying to get this valve out uh, what I've already done I've just taken this side of the uh, bracket off um, Actually, what I did first, I've left the regulator on for about a couple of days uh, just to get rid of any residual gas that's left in there. There'll still be some in there, so we're not good to go cutting at it with an angle grinder. We want to get the valve off, fill it with water. is what we've come out with nice little cylinder uh, all those uh, feet and uh, things came off came off nice nice and smooth so this is the little one uh, this is going to be our firebox so th there's our vent we made yesterday uh, that's going to be mounted onto there so I've drawn out roughly where the door is going to go uh, decent sized door since it's quite a small firebox I've marked out the chimney as well and also where the hinges are going to go I finished bending the flat bar for the door surround One thing I didn't show you, I cut that out with the jigsaw and the side one where the vent's going to go. Uh, so I think first we'll weld this bit of flat bar on, weld the hinges on, and then we'll get all this cut out. And then we and then once we've got a working door, we'll weld the rest of this on.
there we go, one door with all the edges on. Yeah. Won't fall apart. Obviously, don't get any welding tips off me, but. Okay, here's our, I've cleaned it all up. Uh, hinges worked out great. Uh, obviously, removed that long bolt. Just put on some little rounded nut, dome nuts. Uh, looks a looks a lot neater. Uh, vents on good. That restrictor works great. And at the door. Okay, so. This bit of tube goes through the door, as you can see, I've screwed on the, uh, I've welded on the bolt on the end. So that's going to be where the handle gets fastened on. Uh, this washer here is going to be welded to this bar to stop this sliding backwards and forwards and there will also be one on that, cent on that end. And because there's a bit of movement in that. Right, so we've got the handle finished, I just trimmed down, trimmed it down. And I've drilled a hole in the firebox, so that's going to go in there. Now I'm going to weld it in. Beautiful. hole in for the that's going to be for the chimney uh, that one's for the firebox uh, so let's uh, start getting it all together now so here's where we're up to um, we'll try and connect the firebox onto the uh, smoker uh, I'll weld a little bit of tube onto there and obviously it'll be welded in through the bottom there um, maybe a little support here uh, which will just be welded onto the base of that just to give it a bit of a stability uh, yeah getting there okay that went okay says so I don't know what I'm doing got a bit of splatter because uh, I couldn't get the uh, the welder in there so I, the wire was sticking out quite a bit but yeah that'll clean up uh, it's starting to look like a smoker okay that's what we're going to weld on it's a bit of bar so when the door opens it hits evenly on that frame It 
on okay. Ain't going anywhere. Locks that nice. So yeah, it'd just be a good height just to uh, So here's where we are with the frame, finished all that box tube and uh, just clamped it all together. I figured if I clamped it down enough in enough places it'll be straight and level. Um, so we'll just tack this in place, uh, release the clamps, weld it all up, grind it all down and then that's going to be the base for our smoker. Right, I've jumped ahead a little bit, um, cut a length of this, we're going to use it for a chimney. Um, I'm going to do the chimney so it's removable. So uh, that's where the 90 degrees is going to go into the smoker. Um, but what I've done, I've taken an extra bit of tube, uh, cut it down, and that's basically going to fit inside there like that. So the chimney will just uh, literally just pull off. Uh, I'm just going to weld all this up now and then we'll uh, get the 45 degree bend on and then get it welded on the smoker. So there's our damper that's going in the chimney. There's the chimney, it does fit in there perfectly. So what I've done now, I've just cut a bit of tube. I've got some bar here, which fits in there perfectly. So now I've drilled two holes in it. Sorry, two holes in it. So I'm gonna sit that on top of the, the nuts that are going through the damper. I'm gonna weld that in place. So when we stick the bar in, we can tighten these nuts up and it'll clamp onto the bar.
we can see that's working, come together. So we can just I'll shorten them bolts, uh, feed the dowel into the chimney, screw it on, job done, that'll work good. Right. Uh, okay, show you inside, if you can see. It's not fully closed. See, you can't even see any light through that, it's that tight. Open. So we'll just give it a good burnout, get all these harsh chemicals out of these cylinders um, and then we'll move on to making the grate and the firebox. Right, I'm just trimming the base plate which will make this thing a reverse flow smoker. Okay, we've got the plate. Um, I am going to weld it in just to make it a bit more airtight. But as you notice, the chimney the vent whatever the pipe doesn't come up at the end so basically I didn't want to get a bad airflow here I just wanted to go this way and out so what I've done I've just welded on just a little bit of mel just to force it going that way get better airflow so uh, yeah I'm gonna weld that in place now is where we're at up to now. Um, I was going to put the grates in, but I don't really want all the fat just falling onto here. I was going to put a tin foil tray in, but if you're doing a long cook, you don't want to risk it setting on fire. Um, so I think I'm going to put a drainage valve in here. Um, obviously, I have a little tap, little tap coming out underneath, hang a, hang a little bucket or whatever. Um, but I think. I'm going to do a plate, like a V-shaped plate in here to collect the fats and then go out that drainage pipe. Um, but this plate will be removable so it will be easily cleaned. Then we can get the racks in. Uh, so okay, that's what we're up to now. So here's the plate I'm going to use for a drip tray. Uh, I've just scored it with an angle grinder uh, just to make it easier to bend. Seems like it would be alright. Right, we'll see if uh, see if it fits. Sorry, one-handed. As you can see, I've welded some uh, bolts on the end just to raise one end. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing I've got a grinder. Not, uh, it'll do, it'll do. And obviously that little uh, drainage valve in the end. Okay, so. Slide it in. Tricky with one hand. Slide it in and just pull it back and it should drop. That's it. That's locked in place. Straight down that drainage valve. So that should be good. I don't know if I need sides on there. I don't think I do. Should there's good slope on there. I suppose there's a way to test it, get some olive oil or some flour oil or something. Yeah, but that should work. And uh, removable for cleaning. Grill next.
Here's our wheat grill, little handle there. Still, still warm, but uh, okay. Let's see what we've got. Perfect. That'll do. Nice chunky thermometer. Get in there. I'm going to put a little, just a little hood, a little hood over the top of that. Do that now. 